these big sisters all saved their younger siblings from danger. In 2016, a brave eight-year-old named Alicia raced after a kidnapper who snatched her baby brother, and not far behind was her 10-year-old brother. The kids were playing at a park near their babysitter's house when the kidnapper grabbed the one-year-old and took off. Alicia screamed as she followed the kidnapper and caught the attention of these teens. It really turned into blood-curdling screaming. When you kind of pick up, there's a girl running behind him. He's running down an alleyway with a kid. Things don't look right. A man grabbed a brother, two-year-old baby child and was running with it. The little kid started screaming. The kidnapper got frazzled and put baby Owen down in a vacant lot before escaping. Instilling your kids that when they are out in the public, that if some adult comes up to them, they need to have that gut reaction and go the other way and yell and scream as loud as they can. In 2019, Kaylee Dallas jumped into the water with her float. Moments after taking the plunge, she flipped over and got trapped underwater. Her 10-year-old sister Jayla spotted her and sprang into action. It was just very hard to see her like that. I got a little child out here. She was in the pool. She's not breathing. She was completely lifeless. She had no pulse. She wasn't breathing. I'm giving her chest compressions, and I was, I was about to give her another rescue breath, and she just took this <gasps> big gaping breath right in my face. I'm fairly certain I did the exact same thing. She went, <gasps> I went, <gasps> Kayla was rushed to the hospital where she recovered. You're incredible, you know that. He called me every step of the way, texted me, visited her. That's not what he paid to do. The job is helping people, and I was, I was lucky enough to be able to help this little one. In 2015, Lexi got a well-deserved medal for saving the life of her baby brother and mother. When I look at her, I just, she's the reason I'm alive. Angela Shemansky was driving home with her kids when she fell asleep at the will. Her SUV plunged over an embankment. I remember feeling my eyes shut one time, and I, that's when I thought, okay, the next rest stop, I'm gonna stop there. I never made it to that rest stop. The crash broke Angela's back. She was knocked unconscious and was close to death. Peter was crying. He was crying, and what did you do? Lexi unbuckled her car seat and sprang into action, climbing up the 40-foot embankment in bare feet. When she got to the highway, she waved down cars until someone stopped. I'm seeing her come out from, you know, a real large embankment, and I'm, Jeremiah, we have to stop. She was standing on the edge of the road and just trying, trying to get to traffic wait. to stop. She was screaming and motioning to traffic to stop. When the grown men, medics and firemen, say that they did it with ropes, I know that it's unreal that she did it barefoot. This little child, yeah, is the reason I'm alive and that my baby's alive and that our family's together. Lexi's parents were also grateful to the Good Samaritans who answered the little girl's plea. Oh, it just, you just can't even, there's no words really, because thank you doesn't even come close. In 2021, this 13 year old girl shielded her little brother from bullets. Miraculously, neither was shot. Her father says Mia was always brave and wanted to be a New York cop one day. I want to acknowledge the young lady that pretty much uh, saved her brother. Um, she pretty much covered him up. I'm not sure what it takes to be, get the key of the city, but I, I nominate her. For Inside Edition Digital, I'm Andrea Swindle.